I'm going to demonstrate a process that looks very much like batik, but it's much simpler than the batik process. I'm going to use Derwent ink tense blocks. I'm going to use these two colors. For this activity, we're going to need, as I mentioned, the Derwent ink tense blocks, a piece of dry fabric. This is 100% cotton, 200 thread count fabric. We'll also need a plastic surface. I'm using a cutting sheet. Uh, as you can see, it's just a cutting sheet, the reverse side of a cutting sheet. It's about the size of a fat quarter of fabric. Also need some water, and I'm going to use this spritz bottle here as my water source. First thing I'm going to do for this little process, spray water onto plastic surface until it kind of beads up. Pretty liberal uh, amount of water there. Take my first color. I'm going to use it's called bright blue. I'm going to just take my bright blue, blue block. I'm simply going to swirl that into the water. Some of the scratches on my board are showing up, but that's okay. It'll add interest. So I'm going to get a pretty good bit of uh, ink on the surface. And then I'm going to put my block aside. I'm going to take my dry piece of fabric. I'm simply going to drop it into the... Then you see it starting to soak up some of the water. I'll take sometimes a, a cloth and just kind of tap it down a little bit to pick up some extra. And when you're satisfied, pick it up. You'll see a very nice pattern starting. I just laid it back down on the reverse side, which is fine. Now you can stop there, or you can add more color. I'm going to go ahead and add more color, but I'm going to turn the camera off for a moment because I'm going to clean my plastic board. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to add some yellow to this blue. Okay, I'm back. Something I forgot to mention in the... Uh, previous section was that sometimes the cloth that you use to clean your surface with ends up being some pretty neat fabric in and of itself. So I don't throw anything away. Those are my wipe up cloths. Okay, so the original fabric that I, uh, you can see is still damp. I'm not, you could wait to let it dry and that would be one thing. The front and the back look almost identical. So this is what I'm calling the front. I'm going to put it aside. I'm going to do the same thing I did a minute ago. I'm going to just spritz some water on here. I think I'm going to focus on the outer edges of the fabric this time because I didn't get a whole lot of blue on there. I'm going to take my yellow. I'm going to go around sort of the outer. Same way, just getting some color into those blobs of water. a little bit in the middle and like I said the concentration of blue is pretty much in the center I'm going to try to do a little bit on the edges with the yellow and see what happens you never know exactly what it's going to look like but that's part of the part of the uh, neat thing about it is that you never know exactly what you're going to get it does kind of uh, give a somewhat batik look to the fabric and uh, so I'm just going to take what I call the front side of this and I'm going to lay it down the same way that I did earlier and just let the, let the uh, ink, I'll help it along a little bit. And again, I'll take a, a fabric and I'll just kind of make sure there's some contact in areas that may not be getting it. Okay, that's good enough. I'm going to go ahead now and pick it up and flip it over just to show you what the front looks like. There's a little bit of mixing going on, and you could let the uh, first color dry thoroughly, and then there would be less of the bleeding. If you like the bleeding, then leave it wet. You could also add a third color and so on and so forth, but you get the idea. And this is what I call sort of a batik-like painting of fabric. This is a 
fat quarter, basically a fat quarter size piece of fabric, a little bit larger than a fat quarter, but you get the idea. So if you have a hard time finding the color of fabric that you want for your quilt project or your fiber project, just paint your own. Thank you for watching.